Good morning, everyone. So today we are going to be covering how to create a ray diagram for mirrors at a 90 degree angle. Uh, some of you have asked for this, so I figured we could go through it. So in this problem, we've been asked to draw a diagram for the following situation. And we have this little rectangle that's split black and white, and we have our eyeball, that's our observer. Uh, we are asked to include all mirrors, images, line of sight, and the optical path for the secondary image. So the first thing we do when we're drawing mirror diagrams, or at least the first thing I do, is I label everything. So we're going to label this mirror 1, we're going to label this mirror 2, we're going to label this our object O. Now, if we think of looking in any funhouse mirror, or any mirror in an array of different combinations at angles parallel to each other as we see in the next problem, we'll know that we see other, the reflections of our mirrors in each other. And so we are going to reflect our mirrors in the other mirrors, the first step of which is measuring them. I'm seeing this one at about 3.2 centimeters. And so mirror one is going to get reflected exactly the same size on the opposite side. And so I'm just going to measure it and try to carefully line that up. And it's going to be exactly the same length on the opposite side. This is an image of mirror one, so I'm going to call it mirror one prime. Moving on, we are going to then reflect mirror two in mirror one. Now it's a little tricky because when we make these assignments, we are making them in Word often. At least they were originally made in Word. And so you're going to find your two mirrors are not the exact same width. So you have to measure each one. Now when we're grading it, we're probably not that precise. The key thing we are doing is we're using a straight edge to keep our measurements and our lines relatively straight. Now, we've reflected our mirrors. Mirror one was reflected in mirror two, giving us mirror one prime. Mirror two was reflected in mirror one, giving us mirror two prime. That prime again is just showing us that it is an image of our original mirror. It's a reflection. Our next step is we are going to take our object and we're gonna reflect our object at an equal distance across the mirror. I see this as being about five millimeters from the mirror. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to make a mark about five millimeters from the mirror. Then I'm going to measure the width of my object there. I see it to be about 10 centimeters, or 10 millimeters, excuse me. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to draw my object the same width down below. Now in terms of height, I'm just going to eyeball it, which is okay if that's what you do too. Try to be relatively precise with your eyeballing of it though. Now when we look in the mirror, everything's reflected. So when this is in the mirror, it's gonna reflect over here. It's gonna flip, which fortunately going this direction, flipping that will keep the black segment together. Now this would be an image, but a primary image, a first reflection of our original object. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to measure the distance. I see about 20 millimeters between the object and that mirror. So we're going to go and we're going to create our reflection on the other side of that. Again, I'm just measuring a little bit to kind of give myself some level of precision with my drawings. Now here, when I reflect it, the white side faced the mirror, so I'm going to get the white side of my reflection facing the mirror. The dark side was away from the mirror, so the dark side's going to remain away from the mirror. This also is a primary image of our original object, a first reflection. Now we were told to draw to the secondary images, so I'm going to go through here, and we are going to then draw our secondary image. That was about 20 uh, millimeters away, so I'm going to put a mark there. And I'm going to draw my next one about 20 millimeters away from the mirror, and about 10 millimeters width. I'm going to kind of give it its height. 
I'm just eyeballing for height. You could measure it if you want. Extra precision doesn't hurt here. The white side of this face the mirror, so the white side is going to face the mirror over there. And this creates our secondary reflection. A reflection of a reflection of our object. Alright, so we now have our secondary image which we needed for the problem and we're told to draw the mirrors and images, those are done. We also need to draw the line of sight and the optical path. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to draw the line of sight. The line of sight represents the path that you are looking at when, or the, like the image you're looking at is the path your eye takes when you look in these two mirrors at a 90 degree angle and you see that object sitting back there, but it's just an image of it. And so you're looking into that imaginary space. And so the line of sight shows us the path your brain thought that light took. It's the straight shot between your eye and the image. We're going to start out with a solid line from the eyeball up to the mirror. Then after the mirror, we're going to draw a dotted line because we're now in imaginary space. The space doesn't exist, it's inside the mirror, but our brain says, hey, there's stuff back there. So it's imaginary. We're going to label that the line of sight. Now, the next step is we need to apply the law of reflection at each of these intersections. Remember, that law of reflection says that the angle that that light hits at is equal to the angle light bounces off at. Now, we could get out measuring devices and we could go through and we could measure the angles and replicate them carefully on the other side. The trick I do know, however, is that if we go and we take our line of sight where it struck the first mirror, and then you'll notice we were, we were looking at that corner, the white corner of our object there, our little domino, so here, if we line up where our line of sight hit the first mirror with that same spot on the first image, the next image back, when we draw a line between those two and stop at the mirror, well, right here, we're applying our law of reflection. You'll notice our angles are the same. The angles match up, and law of reflection was applied. The last step will be to apply the law of reflection over here if that's the light that's bouncing around, however, we can use that same trick. Line up with where that ray of light hit the mirror, line it up with what part of the object you were looking at, and draw a solid line. This is your optical path. This path is the path light actually took to reach your eye. Alright, that's how to draw mirrors at a 90 degree angle. I hope it helped.